oropharyngeal dysphagia is highly prevalent in institutionalized uh, older adults with estimated rates of more than 50% of the patients of the residents. As reported in a 2002 study conducted in Sweden, but involving patients in nursing home and clinics across Germany, France, Spain, and the UK. Similarly, a prospective multicenter study in Spain, conducted between 2011 and 2013, found that nearly 70% of nursing home residents presented with clinical signs of dysphagia. Although the prevalence ranges in a huge range in different studies, we could say that in general, one in two residents in nursing home uh, might suffer from dysphagia. Uh, and we know that oropharyngeal dysphagia is related to a higher re uh, rate of malnutrition. A 2015 cross-sectional study carried out in frail older adults uh, with dysphagia or suspected dysphagia reported a prevalence of malnutrition of 45% with further 44% of patients being at risk of malnutrition. So we can say that one in two in nursing home residents have oropharyngeal dysphagia and one in two of those ones uh, with uh, dysphagia uh, had dysphagia related malnutrition. The European uh, Society for this, uh, Dysphagia and the, the European Society of uh, Clinical Nutrition and Metabolism have uh, performed guidelines and in their guidelines uh, they have supported the use of modified texture in people with uh, chronic dysphagia to enhance nutritional status with great of recommendation B and strong consensus. A systematic review and evidence-based recommendations on texture modified uh, foods and sequent uh, liquids for adults with oropharyngeal dysphagia published by Beck uh, in 2018 concluded that it is good clinical practice to offer different levels of texture modified foods adapted to the individual abilities uh, of adults with uh, oropharyngeal dysphagia. So changing the texture of solid food together with increasing liquid viscosity to achieve bolus modification is still the main approach in the nutritional management of patients with oropharyngeal dysphagia. <music> say that the main challenges in these patients who live in nursing homes might be related to three different topics, the nursing home staff, the diet, and the care quality. Regarding staffing, a lack of resources often translates into insufficient levels of staffing in the nursing home setting and the inability to form a multidisciplinary team to prepare and perform appropriate nutritional care plans and monitor nutrition and hydration statuses. Currently, a knowledge gap often exists among nursing home staff uh, regarding residents nutrition and hydration needs about the screening and uh, monitoring of oropharyngeal dysphagia and malnutrition about the preparation and the use of texture modified diets and how to address eating challenges regarding diet Texture modified diets provided for nursing home residents when they are not well prepared may be lower in some key nutrients uh, than regular diets. So should uh, be very careful when preparing this kind, this kind of diets. And regarding care quality, insufficient knowledge of the nursing home staff uh, and training of care providers within the nursing home care environment uh, to support the accurate assessment of dysphagia and malnutrition is of paramount importance. And also it is difficult to meet the resident dietary preferences with uh, their eating needs in a communal dining environment. <music> have said before, uh, texture modified diets provided for nursing home residents when not well prepared may be lower in key nutrients. Uh, adequate protein, fiber, liquid, 
and uh, some micronutrients, for example, vitamin D, K and E, folate, magnesium, calcium, potassium and zinc are the most uh, difficult nutrients to achieve. And a nutrient-poor diet poses a risk factor for infections and insufficient liquid intake may also lead to dehydration, which in turn may affect the degree of responsiveness and also the functioning of the oropharyngeal tract. As far as I know, for the first time, a group of experts have reviewed evidence-based knowledge and also reflected about nutritional challenges in, in the care of nursing home residents with oropharyngeal dysphagia. Due to insufficient resources and inadequate staff training, there is sometimes a suboptimal approach to nutrition, hydration, and dysphagia care in nursing homes. So in this context, the aim of this paper was to present an expert-reviewed report on evidence-based optimal practice and positions on the nutritional management of dysphagia where this evidence is available and a collective opinion on better practices to manage dysphagia in nursing home residents where empirical evidence was absent. And this paper has a specific focus on the role of texture, modified diets, and on unmet needs that should be addressed in several areas of care and research concerning oropharyngeal dysphagia. Thank you.